Hello, good morning, good evening, wherever you are in the world, welcome back to the ESC Scott YouTube channel. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a little look into Heat 2 of the Lithuanian national final, Eurovisia.lt. So, eight songs and eight artists competed for only two spots in the final. And today, I'm going to be taking a look at the songs that did qualify and seeing maybe why they qualified and could they possibly represent Lithuania at Eurovision this year. So, without further ado, let's play the intro. So I've got to say, Lithuania surprised me last week. Oh my god. I mean, some of the songs were a bit like, eh, but the songs that qualified, oh my god. I have been listening to Look Telk by Sylvester Belt for, oh my god, I think I've listened to it at least 50 times. Like, oh my god, what a song, what a performance. Oh my god. Yeah, Lithuania is kind of... Mm. It, it, it's it's kind of surprising me how well some of these songs are performing within like the community and kind of how and how well they're being perceived is really 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 good but yeah yesterday heat two of the lithuanian national final kicked off now i didn't actually get to watch all of this i tried to watch as many performances I, as i could but i was kind of trying to watch melody grand prix at the same time they were overlapping quite a lot i'm I love MGP, so I was just trying to focus on that a little bit more than this. But I did see some of the performances, um, but I can't really remember all of them, to be honest. But today we're just going to be focusing on the qualifiers. But tell me, is there any of the non-qualifiers that were really good? And I'll, I'll react to them. But performing yesterday, we had Aced, Zalvanaris, Zalvanaris, Ele, Thomas G, Paula, Dividas, Multikis and Andreas. Here is how they all performed. This is uh, the results. The result is almost identical to last week. So, Aced, is that how you say her name? Aced, East, Aced, and Zalvanari. How do you say that? Zalvarinis. They were the two songs that advanced to the grand final. So, Aced, I, you need to, I don't feel like that's right, but I'm going to go with it. So East, Aced, um, performed well with the jury. They won the jury um, and got 22 points overall. And then second place, Zalvarinis, got 22 points as well, but got 12 points from the public. So it was very similar last week. Sylvester got 12 from the uh, jury, and VB Gang got 12 points from the public. So it was a very similar situation. But let's have a little look at the performances that did qualify. So let's go with East Aced. I think it's Aced. I'm just going to go with that. Okay, so here we go with Aced, with the song We Will Rule the World. That kind of reminds me of that song. The, um, everybody wants to rule the world. I don't really remember this. I did watch some of these performances, as I say. Okay. Oh. Okay, this seems a bit retro, a bit old school. Look at that hair. I mean, I can't see anything. <laughs> okay. So this was the jury's favourite. So I'm expecting her voice to be really good. Ooh, that vocal's good. Okay. Okay, I kind of like the the verses more than the chorus, but this isn't bad. It's a bit. It feels a little bit dated. I'm a bit confused. I definitely can't remember this. I'm surprised this won the jury, you know. Her vocal was good in the first minute, it's kind of dissipating a little bit. I mean... I'm so confused. It's 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 slightly dated. This is like something I would expect from like the UK national final, <laughs> if there was one now. Maybe retro is the vibe they're going with because like seventies, sixties, because that's what's like the the backing dancers are kind of wearing. Even like the background and stuff is is very retro. And then he's doing like a ABBA. <laughs> That they're stuck in the 80s. <laughs> she sounds off off key there. Mm. 
Hmm. I mean, it was okay, but it was like really, really dated. I'm actually kind of surprised that one with the jury. It's like it's not a bad song, but I think it just it needs. If it was to go any further, it desperately needs a revamp. <laughs> desperately. Right, okay, the second qualifier is called Zalvarinis. I'm sorry if you're Lithuanian, okay, and I'm butchering your language. I know I have a few Lithuanian um, subscribers, I know that they watch a lot of my videos. If I'm butchering your language and butchering these words, I'm so sorry. It's the worst part about doing these reactions because I just feel like I'm butchering every single word I'm saying. Zalvarinis with song... Oh my god. Gauda... Gauda... Veya? Veya? We'll see in a minute what how it's pronounced. But yeah, I can't remember this either. I don't feel like I watched much of this national final. I just caught the little bits of it, um, like the first few performances. But this qualified. This made the final. This got twelve points from the public. So the public really enjoyed this. I'm getting kind of medieval vibes from this, like their costumes in the background. Okay. Oh, is this some, like, Lithuanian rock? Ooh. Well, I'm liking this sound. I'm liking this better than the first one so far. See if this is, like, a really punchy chorus. I'm gonna love this. Because I just lo I love the Lithuanian language. Go da vei. Go da vei. Okay. Oh, I like that. Dun, 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 dun. I love a clap. Anytime there's a clap in a song, I love it. Yeah, this is this is my kind of sound. This is the song I the least kind of songs I love. Hmm. I mean, it's, it's different. Already, there is a wide variety in this um, final with the four songs they've chosen. Quite a wide variety. I love that stage though. Everything about the Lithuanian national final is really quite good. Okay, let's get like kind of a, a grungy uh, bridge and an amazing final chorus. Come on. He's killing it. Yeah. Give us that Sam Ryder moment. <laughs> yeah, there, there is something about this that feels very medieval. Kind of retro as well, this almost feels quite retro to me as well. Yeah. It's definitely kind of a laid back Gauta vibe, like from Norway. Obviously, is, the Gauta is just really up here. This is a little bit kind of iffy if you compare it to that, but it's still good. They almost have like a yodel in their voices as well, that's almost like a, uh, 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 like, it's really, really, really impressive. It's hard to sing like that. Yeah, I enjoyed that. I can see why the public enjoyed that more than the jury as well. Definitely more a public-led song. So they were the two songs that qualified. So we have East Easte with... We Will Rule the World and Zalvarinis with Gaudive. I think this heat was probably not as strong as last week. We have two okay songs. I think the second one, the one that won with the jury, the Zalvarinis song was really, 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 really quite good. And the performance was different. The We Will Rule the World song, I mean, it's it's alright, the song's good, but like, it's not competitive. If that's what we're, if we're looking for a Eurovision winner, I don't think any of these are competitive if Lithuania are looking for a win. But yeah, they were good. Not great, but good. But tell me, what am I missing? If you're enjoying these songs, tell me down below why do you enjoy them, why do you not enjoy them? We'll have a little conversation about it. Also, if any of these songs in Heat 2 um, were really good and did not qualify, let me know as well and I'll react to them for you. But thank you so much for watching. Remember to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. We're so close to a thousand subscribers and I'm so excited for it. But thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.